And still on news from the Family Islands, scores of tourists and residents are in Acklands this Labor Day weekend, attending one of the country's biggest cultural and heritage events. Desmond Saunders reports tonight on the first Acklands Cascarilla Festival. <laughs> The three-day Acklands Cascarilla Festival, organized by the Acklands Cascarilla Festival Committee and the Ministry of Tourism, seeks to educate Bahamians on the vast economic opportunities of the Cascarilla bark, a staple and coveted herb found in abundance on the island of Acklands. Its distinctive taste is used in Campari liquor, high-end perfumes, cosmetics, and medicinal supplements worldwide. Chairperson of the Cascarilla Festival Committee, Anita Colley Pratt, explains how the festival was conceived. This started out of a meeting we were having with tourism, um, discussing ways for, for the island so we can really bring more life to Acklands. And the idea was asked, the question was asked, what is it do we have? Um, Ilutra have Pineapple Fest, Andros has Crab Fest, Cat Island has Rake and Scrape, what do we have? And a teacher in the class in the meeting said, well, we have the cast gorilla. Scores assembled at the King Eric Regatta Park to enjoy delightful native dishes, entertainment, and drinks. There was a plaiting of the maple. And even a demonstration of how the cast gorilla bark is produced. Just give me your name, sir. James Ben. And explain to the public what you're doing now. Uh, I'm beating bark, I'm beating bark. Uh, they use this for um, um, medicines and stuff. Member of Parliament for the Michael constituency, Miriam Emanuel, says her government supports the event. This is very um, important to them because it's a way that I see and they feel the same way where it could bring economic growth for the community and promote entrepreneurship for them. The event providing a major economic boost for local entrepreneurs. Well, I'm selling tropical kong salads, regular scorch kong salads. Uh, I have benny cake, coconut cake. It's just, oh, business is booming. As you can see, this is my last set of kong salad. And when I'm done with this, I'm gone. I was here from about 11 o'clock this morning. I have straw work. This straw work was, um, I went and got the straws and I plaited. And I design it and make it into baskets, okay? Well, I'm a part of the committee. And uh, I came over from Crooked Island and I came and I helped to play a part. It's, it's, it's very good for our country. Ackland's native, Mr. V. Alfred Gray, says the Cascarilla Bark is a multi-million dollar industry that has yet to be untapped. This festival in particular speaks to the importance of the Cascarilla Bark to the development of these people, not the island. Every living uh, Acklands woman or man had had at some point in time a brush uh, with the Castorilla bark for a living. And um, it has made uh, some of them uh, 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 able to send their children off to school, uh, build houses, buy cars. This is the first Acklands Cascarilla Festival. This is a huge platform for local entrepreneurs and vendors. These 15 vendors have benefited tremendously from this event. Festival organizers hope that as this event continues to grow, it would provide the economic impetus for this community to thrive. In Acklands, attending the Acklands Cascarilla Festival, Desmond Saunders, ZNS News.